Mississippi State at homecoming after coming back from Houston. They try a handoff on the first play here, as you may recall, having seen the game. And it's recovered by Jimmy Wilson. Billy Battle was down there with him. The week before we was out Houston playing, and believe you me, we had some anxious moments there, finally winning 19 to nothing. Pat Trammell going out on the option play against Mississippi State for homecoming here. Picks up a few valuable yards. It was real... Uh, a threatening day to say the least here this particular day and you will see as it go along that those white uniforms aren't very white because they're, they'll have a lot of mud on them if you get on the ground very often travel back to pass again he throws a loopy pass this time to Billy Richardson uh, Billy picked up the first down and right in the clutch and it helped tremendously uh, we, we use that in several different ways it's nothing new but it, it helped us this year Billy Richardson now doing a real fine job of running on the power play for the touchdown. Real fine running with Billy Richardson right behind All-American Billy Neighbors. You know, we have about... Here comes the hoopie off of the fake kick. Billy Richardson faked the kick and ran the hoopie to Mike Frocky. I think we had nine uh, Billies on our team this year. Me, of course, nine youngsters named Bill. And you can holler Bill, and here comes Mike Frocky running the football. Fine block there by Butch Wilson. Another fine flock downfield there. I believe Richard Williamson made it. Mike Frocky was running. Real fine runner. But you could all a Billy and about ten people would answer you. I think I made a mistake on that one back there a couple minutes ago. I think it was Billy Oliver who made the good block, but they all make them. So as long as I call their names, that's the important thing. Now, I know that's Billy Battle. Uh, this is from Birmingham. Real fine player. And Frocky goes in for the score standing up. Nothing to it. They knocked him out of there real well then. That was Jack Rutledge along with Jimmy Sharp, Billy Neighbors, and Leroy Jordan. It rolled him right out of there. Here's a great play. There's something unusual you don't see very often. They were trying a field goal, and Tommy Brooker not only blocked the field goal, but he caught the field ball, held on to it, and ran for uh, down to where you see there about the 14-yard line. Had that been uh, before Tommy's knee operation, I believe he would have scored. I don't believe that. A uh, pursuer would have caught him. Anyway, it's a real big play. You can see we have pretty good protection here. Real fine recovery by Jimmy Wilson. Here's two in the side. It's knocked in the air, and across comes Billy Battle, and he catches it. Puts the ball away real nicely. That's the boy, Billy. And don't let him take it away from you. So we're at least in position for a field goal. I think Butch Wilson was the uh, fir uh, first one that handled that ball or touched it. Anyway, now... With Timmy Davis in there, it makes it 17 to nothing, and that's fairly comfortable for the big, uh, with uh, raining and, and mud. Now, Jack Hurlbut goes into the ball game here. Jack's a sophomore from Houston, was hurt before the season started. That's great running on the part of Dink Wall. Dink, uh, John O'Linger blocking for him. That Dink is from Fairfax. And I believe that uh, Steve Allen was in on the blocking there. Here's some more real fine running by Dink Wall. Curtis Crenshaw down there blocking, along with uh, Gary Martin. Curtis is a senior from Mobile. Gary Martin is a sophomore from Dothan. Jack Herbert hanging off this time to Dink Wall again. And there's Jimmy Sharp making the block. Jimmy Wilson. Our two little guards there, junior guards, Sharp and Wilson. Uh, I tell you, they, they were tremendous. They got better every Saturday. Fine fake there for Dink Wall. Pitched the ball out to Gary Martin. We didn't have enough running room. As I was saying, Jimmy Sharp and Jimmy Wilson got better every Saturday, and uh, I think they were real fine football players when the season was over. Dick Wall goes in for the score. At, uh, our line on the left moved them out pretty well, but they penetrated on our right a little bit. So anyway, homecoming, 24 for Alabama, nothing for Mississippi State. So that was a real big one.